Hi guys, Todd here. Right, um, I apologise now for this not being a, a proper review as such. Um, it, it won't be. It'll be me just giving my loose opinions on the new Triton tank by Aspire, which they sent on to me to have a play with. Uh, now, I have two tanks here. I've been running them with one with a sub ohm coil, one with a 1.8 ohm coil. Uh, this one here is 0 0.4, uh, and this one on the silver battery is 1.8. Now, um, probably going off track here already, but what really interested me about this, or what interests me about it, is the fact that the, you've got a 1.8 ohm coil for it as well. So, essentially, this tank should probably replace the Nautilus as well. Um, which is no bad thing, because the Nautilus has been about forever. Uh, and, and it's great at what it does. Absolutely brilliant at what it does. But, you, you know, this is... Well, here we go. This is what I've found out, okay? Uh, I'll get into pricing and, and all the spec and all that kind of stuff later on. But, uh, so here's me at the same juice in both of them. Uh, 0 0.4 ohm, 50 watts. Yes, you can blow clouds to your heart's content. Um, it's got huge airflow at the bottom and you can also adjust the airflow at the top like you did with the Atlantis version 2. However, you can put your own 510 drip dip in there as well. Now, I'm running the 1.8 at 15 watts. strange thing is here is that the airflow is set the exact same in both of these really tight airflow it, it, it's oh well, it's not really tight but you would ex I'll show you when we look at the coils but the type even though you've still got all the same adjustable airflow the 1.8 ohm coil is tighter than a sub ohm one in saying that, the flavour is still really, really good from this 1.8 uh, and I've been using the 1.8 ohm one more than the sub ohm one. It's really strange. Uh, right, let's. I've got some spec. I'll, I'll read this out to you, okay? Uh, it's all stainless steel. Um, the coil material that comes is Japanese organic cotton and the coils uh, surgical grade 316L stainless steel tube filament. Um, Pyrex glass tank is a three and a half mil, dun, 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 yeah, three and a half mil capacity. Um, the fill system on it, filling it, is one of the best things about it. To be perfectly honest, um, and that that's really it. Now I think this is going to be priced around thirty to thirty-five pounds. I think it's going to be around there. Um, the length. 73.5 millimeters, the diameter is 22.5. Uh, now, when I say it's 22.5, men go, well, it's going to look shite on my 22 mil devices. Not really. There it is on a 22 mil device. It's, it, do you know, it's it's the knurling on the airflow ring that sticks out a little bit and gives it that 22.5. The actual where it hits the you know, it's, it's almost like 22 mil at the bottom, or it's a ball here. There's there's hardly anything in it. It it looks okay on a 22 mil device. Thank God for that. Uh, right, uh, I think that's enough information. Uh, let's go and have a close up look. Now, the first thing I'm going to start with is the coils. Now, this is a 0 0.4 here, this one, and this is a 1.8, and that's what happens with the airflow. Look at that. That's why the 1.8 is so tight because it's got, you know, it's so narrow coming up there. Uh, so it really does restrict the airflow. Even though you have ma massive airflow in the tank itself, it's restricted by, you know, this bit here. It's got so much filling material in there. And 0 0.4 or 0 0.3, whatever you go for. 
We'll stick with, uh, I should point out, the 1.8 seems to come with uh, the blue and then you have the black for the, the sub-ohm ones. Um, that's quite good that they've got a colour indicator there. I just I think it's kind of might confuse some people that are used. To, I mean, I actually thought this was a temperature control one at first, because I'm not used to seeing you know blue colours in the bottom of the temp control coils. So you've got these big holes going round the bottom, and you know that's going to get air up into the coil. Just to show you again, there's the 1.8 ohm coil. It's only got tiny wee holes on it. I'm almost tempted to try swapping these out and see if I can increase the airflow to the 1.8 the one. But I think uh, for shits and giggles what we shall do is I'll grab some tools and we'll try taking this to bits just because I can. Right, let's, let's just see if I can't pull this out here. So there we go. Now you can buy an RBE section for this as well. So I've got that out and I can see there already that you know we've got the negative and positive wires kind of sticking out there. See the wire that's sticking out there? So I'll try and get this out in one bit for us. So there's the, there's the insulator out. Yeah, so you can see the two wires there. So you've got one that was trapped underneath the rubber insulator and the other one that was coming up over the top of it. So that, that's nothing new that we haven't seen on Kanger coils and, and all the rest of it. And we've got one, two, three, four holes going round the outside of the 0 0.4 here. These are all 4mm in diameter. And I think what I'll do is we'll try pulling this out. Now they do have a gauze on the top of this as well here. See that coming out there? There's a little gauze on top of the, the cotton. So there's the other side there. Now, best way to take this out. Let's and here we go. Oh, well, I left some of it behind. Do you know, there's not a lot of cotton wrapped around there at all. It's like two halves just wrapped around the, the coil there. And there we go. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm not going to do this uh, pretty much on screen or anything like this, but uh, this is the RBA section I've been mucking about with as well. Once again, it's a tight draw on this. Uh, it's quite tight. It's not, um, it, you know, I, I put a low build on it, but it's, it's still not as much air coming through, or it doesn't feel as much air coming through it as the other one. So you get your RBA kit, and, uh, you know, there's spares in the RBA kit, and there's a little screwdriver here that I'll try getting out. So I'll just taste a bit. What you've got is you've got a screw on the bottom here of the RBA section and that pins one part of your coil and you've got an, another screw here which traps the other part of your coil. So I'll just undo that there as well. So basically what you're doing is when you build this, uh, I'll take this coil out that I was using, you, you know you've got a horizontal coil, it's not a vertical coil, it's a horizontal coil, so you have your wire coming out here, your wire coming out the bottom, so when you're putting it together you kind of just put your wire down there and it'll go through the negative post, the positive post there, and then you just tighten it off with that little screw, and it's the same on the other end, you've got a tiny little hole just there and you put the other end of the wire, the, the coil wire through there and basically you just show you roughly, you just pop that in there and then you just pull your cotton out a little bit through the holes and snip it. Um, listen somebody will come along and do a full rebuild but uh, this is just a quick and dirty video but um, yeah the RBA section seems to work okay. So here's the tank, and uh, I do have to say, excuse all the oil on it, oil, e-liquid, um, but it, it's weighty, it feels substantial, it feels very, very well made, uh, I have no issues with it there whatsoever. So we've got a drip tip in the top, wide bore, uh, and it does have the, if you look at this slot here, I can turn this round and I can get that cooling effect by opening this up. So that'll cool your vapour down if you open it up there. 
uh, you can take the drip tip off at the top and you can replace it with a standard 510. On here we have the picture of somebody having a little vape and we have a water droplet here. So if you're wanting to vape away, you want the little arrow to be there. If you want to fill your tank up, click that like that, pull the top cap off and just pour your juice down those two holes there. And that's it. Once it's filled up, pop that back on and turn it back to the vape position. That's you. Job done. It is so easy to fill this up. Major positive in that respect. Uh, we have a 510 pin at the bottom with Triton written there. It is not sprung loaded, which uh, I'm quite glad to see, but it is pronounced well enough. So that's quite good. Uh, we'll unscrew the base. And then you can see the tank there. You can see that's the one, but that's the 1.8 ohm coil I've been using there. You can see it's quite uh, tight. And do you know what? I'm going to pull this out just now, and I'm going to swap the base over for a sub ohm. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm cheating here. I want to see if I can get more air into a 1.8 ohm coil. So we'll, we'll, I'll try that at the end of the video. So there's a chamber there, O-rings going on round here, and there's your airflow. So you can have it wide open. It's fully adjustable. No issues there at all. I don't have any complaints with the airflow control at all. Uh, it does the job quite nicely. Right, I, I have tried something across there in the grooves, whether I'm not doing it hard enough or whatnot, I don't know, but I can't get that bit to come off, um, and, and I can't seem to force anything else off, uh, and, and I don't want to try too hard in case I break it, um, but as far as I can see, this is a sealed, this is a sealed unit, um, which is a bit of a pisser, because if you break the glass then you have to buy this whole top section, uh, which I wouldn't imagine it being very, very cheap, because uh, it's stainless steel glass maybe I'm do you know maybe I'm just missing something here but I've, I've looked on the website and there's no mention to being able to take the glass out um, I can't you know this all moves it's all part of the same system I don't know guys I really don't know I really don't know and I'd be lying otherwise maybe somebody else that's going to spend a bit more time with it than I'm, than I'm prepared to just now uh, we'll uh, be able to suss that one out for you, but as far as I can see right now, it's a sealed unit. But just to be clear, that may be wrong. I may be wrong in that one. So I'm going to take the 1.8 ohm coil back. Remember, I have put the bottom bit from a sub ohm coil in there to see if I can get more air through it. Just for shits and giggles. Screw it all back together. Great thing. Make sure that I put this to the water droplet so now I'm open here and I can fill this with some juice I've no idea what juice is in this little bottle that's lying here but I'm just going to pour it in anyway so easy to fill up pop that back on click turn this position and that's it you'll see bubbles starting to come out now and that's it, I'm, I'm ready to go. Check this out. Remember at the start when I had the 1.8 ohm coil and this is going to fall over. Stay! Bloody camera. Is it any wonder I'm giving this shite up? Can't review worth a crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, right, the 1.8 ohm coil at the start and it was a really tight draw when it was fully open. This is it fully open again. And it's just as tight. <laughs> it's just as tight. Nah, a little bit better, but not much. It just feels like a little bit more than the stand than a Nautilus at its widest air hole setting. I really do almost wish 
that the 1.8 ohm coil you were able to, if you wanted to, you could open the airflow right up and do a direct lung inhale from a 1.8 ohm coil. So I would love, to, I would love that. I know there's people going to say there's different reasons for not having it and 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 so on and so forth. But my personal taste, but I would like to have seen that. Ah, it's not bad though. Um, Right, I mean, as you can see, it's built well. It built really well. It feels weighty. It feels like a feels like a premium product. Um, it's really easy to fill. Dead easy. Uh, changing the coils out, ah, no problem at all. Um, airflow, gobfuls of air. If you want to, you know, you can open up the top bit as well. Have the bottom one. This is the 0 0.4 ohm coil at 50 watts. Yeah, you can get loads, uh, but uh, yeah, close the top off. Still, it feels like more than a sub tank. It feels a little bit more than an Atlantis as well. Not bad. Flavor wise, right, flavor wise, as far as I'm concerned, it's just another sub tank. That, that's, I'm not going to sit here and say to you that, oh, it's awesome, it's the best thing to hit the market. Yeah, it's not. It just feels like flavor wise, like another sub tank to me. There you go. Um, so, really, you, for me, the key thing here is that Aspire have got one tank for sub omen and it also does 1.8 ohm coils so Nautilus is out the way, the Atlantis 2 is out the way, you've got the one tank that's going to cover both I like that aspect of it uh, I like the way it's easy to fill, I like the airflow is fine, I wish it had more air on a 1.8 ohm coil um, I don't like the fact that the whole top section seems to be one piece it depends on what, how much they're going to cost and that information I do not have. I just don't have that information. Because um, people will drop these and they will break the glass, even though it has a stainless steel protector around cage around it as well. Um, so that that's a bit of a negative. But I could be proven wrong in that. You know, somebody will figure it out somewhere that it probably comes away really easy. And it's just me being a complete knob, as usual. Um, I like the fact it's not a sprung loaded 510 pin so I can use it in a hybrid if I want to. Fits nice on a 22mm device, looks not bad. It is quite tall. It's a tall beastie, uh, this one. I like the fact you can use your own 510 drip tips. I have one of my own on this just now. And, and that is it. It does come with an RBA section. The RBA section I found the draw to be quite tight on it. It's nowhere near as airy as the standard sub ohm coils. It's in between the sub ohm coil and the 1.8 ohm coil. Um, I did the first few times I built it, I found uh, getting it to wick just perfectly. Uh, the cotton that came with it um, is okay. Uh, it's okay, but I found that it wicked better with my own cotton. Uh, I used baking cotton in it and it seemed to wick a lot better. Uh, but just tasted the same. That's it guys, that's a quick and dirty look at the, the Triton by Aspire. Uh, I'll not be doing a follow up on this or anything like that because this is, that's it, that's it. There will be much more detailed and in depth reviews from uh, all the other reviewers out there, this is just me closing the doors and, uh, you know, getting everything out of the way. Thank you to Aspire for sending this on. I got these two tanks free for review. To you guys, thank you for watching and your patience as always. We'll catch you next time. Cheers now. Bye.